video and in some of the following videos we are going to classify the um, dynamical systems based on some of its property okay and the first uh, classification which we are going to discuss is a conservative system okay so what's that a conservative system a conservative system is a system in which some potential okay so some a scalar function exists uh, for that given um, system such that that particular scalar function which is going to be a function of state variables is not going to change with respect to time even though uh, the uh, state variables are going to evolve so uh, the x value and the y value are going to uh, update it however that scalar value which depends on those state variables will not change okay and such a system if uh, uh, such a scalar value exists for a system then such a system is known as conservative systems okay so one simple example um, is newton's law okay so this is um, um, newton's law in the equation of newton's law and uh, let's say in this newton's law this force f is a conservative force if it's a conservative force which means uh, um, the force which we are not considering due to damping or friction okay then we call that as a conservative force but mathematically speaking uh, we call something as a conservative force provided it is being derived from potential energy okay so this is the relation so where v is the potential energy if the force is something which we could derive from v then that force is a conservative force and let's say a system which is um, a, a body or particle on which a conservative force is acting then i could rewrite this equation in this form okay so in this form um, then what we could do is we could multiply that equation with x dot okay so that i will get this form and i could rewrite this equation into this equation okay and if you see the time derivative of whatever inside this bracket is zero which means whatever inside this bracket is conserved is constant okay so um, and for that reason okay and also you could easily see that this is a kinetic energy and uh, this is the potential energy the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy will be conserved which is the total energy of the system if it's not getting dissipated due to friction or anything else okay so for this system e is that scalar value which has been conserved okay so let's represent that one that scalar function by e okay so if for a given system if such a function exists then it's a um, conservative system but why are we interested in such conservative system because once we identify such a function then it will be very easy for us to draw the face portrait okay so that's one thing but i have to uh, uh, um, uh, we have to put some restriction on choosing this e value okay for example for a given system um with respect i mean uh, even though it's a function of x and y then uh, evolve uh, evolution of x and y should not affect e right for example let's say for a given system say i assume e is equal to just 5 just a scalar value okay so for, so uh, for such a scalar function exists no problem and uh, if i change my x value or y value still e is equal to 5 
okay can i say that is a conservative system i mean with that argument i can say everything else is a uh, or everything is a conservative system right yeah but uh, that seems like a, a valid argument but um, how can i get rid of that okay in order to get rid of that what i have to do is i have to um, put a little more constraint on choosing the e okay so the constraint is this one okay so let's say in the uh, phase plane okay in the phase plane let me take a, a region okay which means a set of points okay and let that uh, set is a open set by open set i mean uh, we are not including the uh, boundary in that set okay now um, if i take any point in that region okay okay and uh, if it's a conservative system and um, each point will provide me some e value okay and uh, uh, here the requirement is that we can't have an open set like that which is having same e value for that entire set okay so if i make sure that then um, i can get rid of such a um, uh, such a trivial e value like e is equal to 5 okay so exactly in order to avoid that we are um, additionally imposing this condition okay but because of as a consequence of this um, condition um, we i mean this leads to uh, one more property uh, for the conservative system which is explained in this example 6.5.1 so here it's been asked to show that a conservative system cannot have any attracting fixed points so there should not be any attractor how can i um, argue that there cannot be any attractor if it's a conservative system okay let's say um, a fixed point is there in the conservative system and uh, let's say that's a um, attracting fixed point okay which means a stable node okay so first let's call that particular point is x star okay and then if it's a conservative system each and every point uh, in the phase plane i can associate with the, uh, a scalar value which is a, a conservative uh, function right e something like an energy function okay now uh, that x star for that x star position we will have some value for that using that function which is e of x star okay now let's take a region uh, around this x star okay now let's take a region let's say there's, there's some point x star and around that region i'm take um, around that point i'm taking a region okay and uh, in that region i'm not considering the um, boundary okay so it's an open set okay now let's say within that region i am choosing a particular uh, ar arbitrarily i am choosing a point okay which represents state of the system okay and now um, if that's a state of the system and uh, um, after a very long time what will happen to that state of the system because it's uh, near to the attracting point so it will um, go towards the fixed point right so it will go towards the fixed point and it will end up with the fixed point and that is the fate not just for any arbitrary okay that is the fate for not some sum of the uh, fixed point but that's the fate for the entire region isn't it so that's the uh, um, property of the attractor 
which means which means we are actually violating this thing so um, for that fixed point okay for that entire region we can have only one e value which is e of x star okay since that violates um, this requirement okay therefore a conservative system cannot have any attracting fixed point okay fine so um, so that's about the uh, conservative system um, in our next example we will see um, um, how to draw the phase portrait for a, a given system okay thank you